Okay, right here by the road is the train station. You can't miss it. Go in and take a look. All right, here we are at Bradley Beach Station, which looks nice. Busy road right on the west side of the station. It looks fairly new, even though it's an older style. Just back in time cafe. It must be renovated. Nice brick plaza. Like, this looks like it used to be, or maybe it still is like a little town square for Bradley Beach. Luxury apartments across the way. Looking back, nice style. Short platform, two tracks. Platforms on each side, bus shelter over there on the outbound side. Bradley Beach. Just to show you where we are, Bradley Beach. Next stop, Asbury Park. That's got a famous reputation, Bruce Springsteen territory. Bradley Beach. And really close to Bradley Beach is Asbury Park. So let's take a look. So it has a high level platform here. People waiting to go inbound. It's like just platforms unless that's a stationed house over there. We'll take a look. We'll walk down the tunnel and come up on the other side here in Asbury Park. This just shows you where we are at the train station. Or no, maybe we're down here. So most of the downtown is to the north and east. And then here's the ocean over here. All right, let's take a walk down the stairs down into the tunnel. Hmm. Can't get in. How do you get over to the inbound side? I can't believe it's locked. Let's try it again. Okay, and it's not open for some reason. It's telling me to go down this way. Okay, that's what I'll do. Here's just a look at some of the surrounding area on the outbound side, the west side. And I guess we'll walk up here to the end and see if we can cross over to come back on the inbound side. There's a ramp that comes up from two ends to go here on the outbound platform. Looking back, there's a train headed north towards us. So let's see if we can get over and see it from the downtown side of downtown Asbury Park, which is a good sized town. I can't tell you what this was or is, it looks like an old school right next to the train station. But we'll see. 
We might get to the station by the time the train gets here. There's just an announcement that this train coming north is just going to go to Long Branch. And then I guess you transfer to another train going further north. So let's walk up on the platform as we try to figure out the lay of the land here. So this just shows you where we are on the map. Desiree Park. And I see the train's reflections on the tracks. And we'll watch it as it pulls into the station. So here comes the train into the station. And if that's a station, I'll tell you, it looks more, it looks more like a police station. And I see a bunch of police cars parked here, so maybe it is. Diesel territory. Okay, let's go take a further look. Let's just look in here. Maybe it is the station. I'll have, I'll have to look it up to see what year this was built. Because it's got 1960s and, or 70s written all over it. And I bet you it's closed. It is. It's like they have like church pews for benches there. A little parking area. Take a look at a little look at Asbury Park. It's like a bus intermodal type situation here. The James J. Howard Transportation Center is what it's called. They don't want you going in here and using any of the benches. It's definitely a different feel for things here at the Asbury Park Station. So Asbury Park is really a mixture of old and new and in between. That looks like a library. It doesn't say what it is. Oh, maybe it's the post office. Huh. And then, so this building is the city hall that has a community garden next to and behind it. So it's right next to the train station. And between the city hall and the train station is the police station. So that's the walkway we took to go down. Another train coming from the north headed this way, headed south. So, different feel here at Asbury Park. on the North Jersey coastline, Asbury Park. This area is the exact opposite of 
Montclair, New Jersey, where they have signs that say no train horns allowed. Here, the train has to beep its horn all the time because it's going over grade crossings. So here comes the uh, southbound train. Pulling into the station, headed south. Asbury Park. And I see the station at the last second. And I guess I'll perk on the outbound side. Probably doesn't make a difference. I'll go in and take a look at Allenhurst. So as far as under the radar places go along the Jersey Shore, I would I have to put Allenhurst at the top of the list. I've never heard of it. So here's some parking here. A little park. And maybe there's a waiting room there. It's a short platform. Low level asphalt on each side. So let's go around and take a closer look. So it's so quiet here in Allenhurst, which is a good thing. Just north of Asbury Park, and this is a nondescript looking office building that is doubling as the train station. Let's just see what it looks like in the front. There's kind of a... Oh, I forget what you might call it. It's like a tr huge trellis. Like it's a little town park here. It doesn't say it's the train station in front. So, I'm just looking to see if there is a actual station here. I mean, there's a bench. I'm looking for a ticket vending machine. Oh, there's one down here underneath the, like the bus shelter type thing. So I'll just show you where we are on the map. Allenhurst. Next stop, Elberon. That's it for Allenhurst. somewhat famous station of Elberon and let me park here and talk a little bit about the history as I know it all right this is a high-level platform station which makes it modern and there's the station house on the inbound side and I don't think there's a tunnel so I'm gonna have to walk down here and go underneath the trestle and come up on the inbound side so there's a good amount of parking at Elberon on the inbound and outbound sides and here we are walking up to the old historic station house it's 
so quiet here. So, I don't know the configuration of everything back in the late 1800s. But let's just uh, take a look at the waiting room. I'm sure it's closed. We'll take a look here. Nice tile floor and benches. Nice waiting room. Let's go around this way. Maybe there is a tunnel here. Which we will walk through on the way back, okay. So I can't say whether this station was here in the late 1800s. I don't think it looks quite that old, but the town of Elberon is sort of famous for being where James Garfield came to convalesce and hopefully get better by the ocean. He was the 20th president of the U.S. and he had been shot by an assassin in Washington, D.C. I think he was, the person who shot him was someone who wanted to be appointed to an office and he wouldn't give it to him. And the platform is really broken up right here. And he stayed in D.C. He, he lasted like for several months, maybe five months after he was shot. And he, they didn't have air conditioning back in those days and um, they did what they could, but to make him feel better, they brought him here to the Jersey Shore and hoped that being by the ocean would help him recover naturally but uh, they never could locate the bullet. Alexander Graham Bell got involved trying to find it with the crude methods of the day and they didn't know about uh, washing your hands and doctors were sticking their fingers in the president trying to find the bullet. And anyway, he took a turn for the worse and he passed away, but it was in this town of Elberon, and he, the house was along the ocean. We're a fair amount of ways inland. And what they did was, in one night, they built a spur off of this rail line, railroad tracks, all the way to wherever the big house was that he was allowed to use along the ocean. And they built it in one night. I'm sure those tracks are ripped up now, but anyway, that's the story of Elberon. And this is the station, just as the sun is set, here on December 30th, 2021, Elberon. It's like the firehouse and rescue squad right here in Elberon. Everything's closed up. So quiet, so let's take a, the tunnel over to the outbound side. I see some people waiting here for the train going south. There's the tunnel. I'll show you when we come back up.
Elberon. And as we leave Elberon, there's a southbound train coming into the station. South, Elberon. Just trying to find the station here in Long Branch. And it's got to be close. It comes a northbound train. I think it's just leaving the station. Double decker. We will see. Well, that train was totally empty, so now I'm wondering whether it was coming from the yard going to the station. All right, continue our search for the station. Here we are, bright lights, big station. So let's take a quick look at Long Branch. See what we can see. Just want to show the overall station here without getting too intrusive. It's modern. I don't know. I'm looking around for uh, an old station house that was once here, but I don't see it. But this looks like the start of electric territory. And then south of here is diesel on the North Jersey coastline. All right, let's take a little closer look. See, you cross one of the tracks to get to the Center Island platform, and then you can walk up this ramp to a high-level center platform. It looks like it's got a sound barrier walls along the west side. So it's got a little semi-enclosed waiting area. And there's a yard to the south. And the ticket office is still open at 5.45 on a Thursday. So we'll just walk around real quick and then that'll be it. Here at Long Branch. Parts of the platform are kind of corroded away here. And you can take this tunnel to the parking lot on the inbound side. spend all that time walking down and you come right back up. Very blue. That was the blue tunnel. So this is the parking, big parking lot. And a station that just looks kind of basic. But I'll put the ridership for this station because it's a connecting point too for the diesel trains coming from the south. And I have a feeling it's got the most riders. It might be tied with Asbury Park for the branches from here going south. Long Branch. <laughs> 